So this recording will show you how to add um, a, an image to a text block. So if you have a text block here, you do not have to get an actual image app. You would just open up the text block, click on it to bring it up into the editor, and then put your cursor where you want an image to go. Let's say I want it embedded here at the beginning of the story. And then click on this image icon. And if you don't already have an image uploaded, click upload and get it from your computer. You can also enter a URL. But I'll just say that I want this one right here. And I click uh, to select it. I can just double click. And then all this form comes up. So the first thing is to edit the image width and height. And what I say is divide by 100 and you'll know about how many inches. So this is about 300 inches by 1.6 inches or an inch and a half. Let's say I just wanted it two inches across. I make sure that there's a check mark in the keep proportions, otherwise people will be too fat or too thin. And I type in that I want 200, that's about two inches across. And notice when I click outside here, it automatically adjusts the height. This is where you would link to a URL if you want someone to click on your picture and take it to um, a website. And then the next thing you want to make sure is click on show image style options. This is how you would wrap the text and also put the alt text or the alternate text. And this is uh, that be kind to the blind because the blind reader will tell um, people with vision disability what the picture is of. And if you have a blank here, it'll say there's a picture of and it'll be blank. So I want to put in here the writing project logo. So it'll say there's a picture of the writing project logo and their screen reader would tell them that. This is your border. If you want to put a border around the picture, how many pixels do you want? And if you want it to be dotted, dashed, or and if you want a particular color border, you want a black border, whatever. And then this is um, where you are going to align it. You're going to align it left. Center would cut your type in half, which isn't a good idea, or align it to the right. I'll just put to the right, and then I want a standoff, and I would say um, 12, which is a um, one pica, and since this is on the left, I want this to be on the, or on the right, I want it to be on the left and the bottom, because I don't want my text bumping up next to my picture. So when I'm done with that, I click on insert image. And here's my image right here. You'll see there's a nice standoff to the left of it and to the bottom. If I were placing it over here, I would ask for it to be on the right and the bottom. Let's say I don't like that. I can just double click on this image and my editor will come back up and I could change that then to the left or change my standoff and or, or whatever. So now it's over on the other side. Notice I forgot to put the standoff uh, change that standoff. So that's what I need to do is come back here and say this time the standoff is on the right. And I don't need any standoff on the left. And now it'll have that nice distance here, that pica of space. Then I just save and close. So there's how to insert an image. Now of course you can also have a standalone image by dragging it over here or an image card which would have just the image that goes full screen and then some writing underneath it. 